Hey guys, welcome back. This is Phil from thecage.com. Today, I'm going to tell you how to update the ZT Track 2 to the latest version. You might be wondering why you need a video on this. You can just tap on system update. But if you're living outside of US or if you are there but don't have an AT&T SIM card or the AT&T signal, then you are out of luck because AT&T devices have to go through their server to pull down the update. But luckily for us, one member at a forum acquired those files and gracefully shared that with us. So now that we have the files, let's get into it. So before we go on, you will need a micro SD card. Any capacity larger than two gigabytes is fine. So just put that, copy that file into your SD micro SD card. I'm just gonna put it in the root directory. Give it a few seconds while it copies. And the reason why I want to go through this, although you know one or two updates behind is totally fine for everyday users, is that the ZT Track 2 has a little bit of touchscreen glitches. If you're using the older versions, then the touchscreen sensitivity isn't exactly up to best. So B33, that's the version we have that is expected to you know drastically better up the sensitivity, especially if you're running older version like B19. So wait for that. And now that we have the file in the microSD card, we are going to pull that off and put it in the microSD card slot that is located in the right hand side. You're gonna just put it right there nicely. And then you should boot up your tablet in recovery mode, which is same with most of the other Android devices. Volume up and power key at the same time. So Give it a few seconds, and there is your AT&T logo. And even after that, keep on pressing the volume up button and you should be greeted with the Android recovery. So there, you obviously see one menu, apply update from SD card. You can select that by the power key right there. And if you get an error at this stage, then you should enable OEM unlock menu in developer settings, which you can access by tapping on the build number numerous times and you'll be enabled with the developer options. So there, you see the file. You can press on that and start installing the new update. After that, it's gonna start installing the update and wait for a while, wait till it completes its processes and you'll be greeted with the new version of B33. And that's how you update your device to the latest version without getting connected to the AT&T network. Thank you all for watching. I hope it was a very simple process as it is. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. You can always meet us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, and we'll see you guys later. Ciao.